Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Seaver. Welcome back to my channel. Last week was National Coming Out Day. Now, I'm not coming out, but as this day had been approaching, I've been thinking about how things have changed for me in the time that has passed since I publicly came out three and a half years ago. In particular, I have been noticing how I act. You see, as someone who started elementary school in the 1970s, entered high school in the 1980s, and became an adult in the 1990s, I had very few queer role models. None of my family were queer, none of my friends were queer, no one I went to school with was queer, at least not openly, and any strain from cis heteronormative masculinity was ridiculed with homophobic slurs. As a result, I grew up in an environment where there was a lot of pressure to express my own sexuality within strict parameters, like not just who I showed attraction to, but how I even physically conducted myself through mannerisms and speech. I had to walk a certain way. I had to hold my hands a certain way. I had to wave a certain way. I had to dress a certain way. I had to speak a certain way. Over the last three and a half years, I've been trying to peel back that forced heterosexuality I had to endure for decades, especially recently. I'm still mindful about how I act and how I speak, but now instead of trying to stop myself from waving a certain way or holding my wrist a certain way, I'm trying to be mindful of these things so that I can tell myself it's okay to do these things. I'm just like, dude, if your body is doing a limp wrist right now, just let it. It's fine to wave with twinkling fingers. Forcing yourself into a societal construct is unnatural. I've also found that being in queer spaces has given me the confidence to accept who I am and to start shedding the artificial persona that society had forced upon me for over 46 years. It's one of the reasons I've been honored to have volunteered with Outreach Southern Alberta Society for the last two years and now serve as their current president. People should be free to embrace who they are. They shouldn't have to force themselves into a costume that their family or their friend group the church or society as a whole has constructed for them. Forcing people to be who they're not is one of the leading causes of mental distress in our society, and it can lead to long-term consequences. Just let people be who they are. Better yet, help people be who they are. Solidarity.